Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, guys. You've got your boys, Bert and Lanny, the DD here, the best dividend investing channel here on YouTube because we're bringing you dividend stocks, dividend purchases, dividend news, dividend increases. Why? Because we want to help you on your finance journey, increase that passive income and get to financial freedom, baby. That's what it's about. So remember, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, help your boys get to 19 and 20,000 subscribers. We grow oh. and we all try to reach financial freedom together because that's what it's all about. You Woo! know what else it's all about, Bert, is buying undervalued dividend stocks and ETFs. And that's what we did this last week of November 6th, just finishing off on November 10th, guys. We were busy buying stocks. You've watched our other videos about trying not to time the market, our dividend quick pick stock picks, all the dividend stock analyses and stocks that we're watching right now. And we, we put out some capital this week. Yes, we did. That's what it's about. So I think let's jump right in, Lanny. Let's just start hitting this out here. Let's tell the people what we're buying, what we're working yeah. with here. That's and cool. unfortunately, I'm going to defer to you on this one because this was a, a slightly lighter week for me. So I'm going to let you take the lead here, Lanny. Why don't you tell the viewers what was the first tranche of purchases that you made the week of November 6th? All right, guys. Well, you know by now. And if you don't, welcome to the game. We're talking about my Vanguard Trifecta, you betcha, exchange traded funds, ETF stock purchases, guys. Every week on Mondays, I buy VYM for me and VYM for my wife. I also buy VYM as well on a Wednesday. I'm still keeping that going with any extra savings that I have. And then I buy VIG and VOO daily. So VYM, guys, 450 for me. We bought three shares in my wife's account. Um, you know, the average price point for me was 10355 and for her it was 10393. So in total, that was 700, almost 12 or $762, adding about 24 and change uh, to the forward passive income total at about 3.23% yield overall. Then let's get into the ring with VIG, Vanguard's dividend appreciation ETF, guys. Dropped, you know, $200, $40 a day throughout the week. Average price point, $157.91. Added $4 in dividend income at a yield of 2%. Ooh. And then, guys. All right, yeah, All right. right on the money. money. Yeah, right yeah. on the money. Let's go. Woo. Um, then we got the Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, VOO, $60 a day, $300 in total. And guys, we bought them at an average price of 401 dollars 0.7481 shares, just to make a joke of it. $4.66 in dividend income or a yield of 1.55%. So in total with the Vanguard deals, $33.27 in income. And guys, we doled out a total capital of $1,261 in change. Nothing funny about dividend investing, Lanny. So we shouldn't really joke around ever again on this channel. Nothing no funny. Joking. Yeah. Just serious. Just money being you know put out in the market yeah but in all seriousness um 33 plus added in dividend income from the vanguard purchases beautiful that's absolutely beautiful it's automated something i could learn from because honestly my purchases again i keep saying it we're a little bit on the lighter side this yeah. week my automated purchases have been slimmed after we got to 100 with johnson and johnson um SCHD, we've been buying two shares every week for my wife it's 70 this week we grabbed it 70 dollars and four cents um so adding in a nice $140 there, total dividend income was just over $5 at $5.28 at a yield of 3.77%. So it packs a nice yield punch, but from a cost going in, not that much. Maybe this is one way any going forward where I now move it up to three shares every week just to keep getting a little bit more into the market. Would Ooh. love everybody's feedback Ooh. down there below. Oof, and I'm curious what SCHD and what that dividend is going to look like as well for you. It could be, yeah. you know, I'm sensing, I'm feeling dividend growth right there for you on that one. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, hoping for as well. So, Andy, you want to talk about some of the other individual stocks that you've been buying? Yeah, I'll go through two quick stocks, guys. Obviously, we know about the journey to getting to 100 shares of United Parcel Services or UPS, guys. Well, that was been on my stock. It's been on my list. You've seen it. You've heard me talk about it. Bought two shares at an average price of 138.42. And in fact, the one share I bought on Friday was at 136.84. Ooh. So bought one at 140, one at 136.84. So I was very happy to capitalize on that. Getting two shares closer to 100. I'm now 0.8 and change away from 100 shares, guys. So 
hopefully through a dividend reinvestment, I might get there, or I might buy a share depending on the price points this upcoming week. Um, but yeah, added $12.96 at a yield of 4.68%. So that was UPS, guys. But Beautiful. we weren't done. My wife, we grabbed one share of essential utilities. Ticker symbol is WTRG. Got to love that water. This one pisses um, me off. We always talk about how I like when they're the same. I hate when there's absolutely zero tie to the company's name. And it's just a, a ticker from an old name in the past that doesn't match anyway. This one, then, you know, this one just pisses me off, Lanny. Oh, man. Yeah. Pisses, I told you we're not joking around today. Old, stone Cold style, guys. <laughs> one right. share, 3385 added $1.23 rounded in dividend income for my wife at 3.63% yield. And that was purchased on Thursday. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let me come back. I'll tell you about one of our other two purchases for the week. It's the one we've been talking about. I've been teasing this one for a long time of one of the stocks you like. I, it was one of my Monday picks from the last few weeks. T row price, ticker symbol T-R-O-W. I was kicking myself. I didn't grab T row more in the high 80s. It was you came back down after the end of the week after they talked about how assets under management might be leaving a little bit for T row. They're still expecting some outflows in the billions range. It makes me laugh because their overall assets under management are still 1.3, 1.4 trillion. So small, nice amount there still getting in there. Um, with that, I took advantage. I grabbed two shares on the ninth at 91.94. So we put it on 183.87. Income total was 976, added at a yield of 5.31%. We're cruising on our journey to $200 of annual dividend income from T Row Price for my wife and her portfolio. Yeah, that yield. Swelling up to almost five and a half percent. Um, you know, T Row price guys, just for a frame of reference, also, you know, tricked down to um, what was that? What was that price point? 9262 at the end of the week. So they kind of kind of came up from Bert's price point, but hey, maybe we'll mm -hmm. see below $90 this week. So we'll see what Bert ends up doing there. Yeah. And I have a thought in my mind for something else, a different video I want to talk about. I have to kick it around first, but um, a yield like that's giving me some ideas of stuff um, just to think about with some portfolio moves as well. Do you want to tell us about any of your other purchases, Lanny, or you want me to finish it yeah. off first? Um, you know what? Yeah, go into go into yours because yours All at right. least has some income to it. All right, that's fine. Texas Instruments ticker symbol TXN. This is another one coming back to the to the we wish we would have bought when it was in the lower range. Texas Instruments also came down. They're in the low 140s now, which was close to that low point from several weeks ago. When Lady and I were like, just kicking ourselves for not adding to more of our positions. This is sure. why we learn. This, this is why we learn. This is why we take advantage of it when we see it. So I grabbed one and a half shares with the cash that was left in my brokerage at a price of $144.87, adding $217.31. Um, and total dividend income was $7.80 added to our position. Their yield was above 3.5%. And that's really when I started to like Texas insurance. And to me, that's when it's a no-brainer. 3.5 yield or higher, I'll grab a share to, or share and a half of Texas insurance. And some nice yield, nice growth, Burke. Congrats on Texas yeah. Instruments, man. Thanks. All right, Lanny. So we teased you have one more left here. So I don't quite own the 1,000 plus shares that Bert owns, but, you know, I do use the SoFi platform a lot. You know, I think Bert knows that full well how much I love SoFi. I do own shares of them, uh, not a lot, you know, um, yes. but I ended up, you know, with seeing their stock price tumble, I did add into $25 tranches or $50 total, buying some SoFi shares. Um, you know, it's usually I don't buy a growth stock or anything like that, but this one, you know, I use their platform and I see a bright future for them. Um, you know, 7.06 shares I bought at an average price of $7.09, 50 bucks. You know, I love it. I don't have to say anything more about this. I'm very much on board with you grabbing SoFi. I love it. It's come back down from some of their highs, um, getting caught up in the market right now, so text great. I wonder if I should add some more to SoFi just to nibble a little bit or uh, look at your average price and see if it makes sense. Yeah, that, that's what we got to do. All right. So my summary here, SCHD, T row tax insurance is a light week, $541 added, $22 and 84 cents of dividend income. The yield though was strong because of where the positions are at 4.22%. Strong, man. Uh, you know, we bought VYM, VOO, VIG, UPS, WTRG, and SoFi, $1,622.48 total, only added $47.46 at a yield of 2.93%. Obviously, the $50 in SoFi provided this much in income, and then my VOO is 1.55% yield, so that's usually tugging down 
the overall yield, but hopefully the overall growth is there to make up for it. In total, we added $2,163 of landing doing the heavy lifting this last week. Total dividend income, $70 total. So a nice there. There, I guess, yeah, nice solid. We're getting closer back to 100. Now it's time for me to start kicking it up again, start packing some punch and really juicing and up. Buy, buy when the price is right, as the yeah. you know, good Bob Barker style. Yeah, or Cleveland's own Drew Carey now. Um, all right, so everyone, let us know what stocks you've been buying. Um, how much income did you add in this past week? We are pumped up. What are the top stocks on your dividend stock watch list? Guys, keep investing, keep saving, repeat the process, get to financial freedom with us. Let us know what other stocks, as Bert said, that you're watching and buying this week and into next week, guys, getting up for those holidays. Man, Bert, what's that? There's one more thing, right? Hmm, I can't hmm. remember. I don't know. Uh, well, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and if you're not with us, you're against us. Jack, that was Bert, the heart, and Lanny from the Dividend Diplomats. Over and out.